the quiet town of Richmond, a mysterious game had recently emerged, causing a stir among gamers and collectors alike. Titled Soulbound, The Abyss Within, it promised an immersive and unprecedented gaming experience. Little did the players know that this seemingly innocent game held a dark secret, a malevolent presence eager to possess those who dared to play. Adam, an avid gamer, couldn't resist the allure of Soulbound. He eagerly acquired a copy and brought it home. His anticipation growing with each passing moment, as he powered up his console and inserted a game disc, an uncanny sensation washed over him, as if unseen eyes were watching his every move. The game loaded and Adam found himself transported to a hauntingly beautiful virtual world. As he embarked on his journey, he became immersed in the captivating gameplay, unaware of the insidious force lurking within the code. As hours turned into days, Adam's obsession with Soulbound grew. The game's eerie atmosphere and realistic graphics ensnared his senses blurring the line between reality and the digital realm. Strange occurrences began to plague him, whispers in the dead of the night, fleeting glimpses of shadowy figures, and a chilling coldness that seemed to emanate from the screen itself. Adam's friends grew concerned as they witnessed his obsession consuming him. They urged him to abandon the game, sensing the darkness it held. But Adam was entranced, unable to tear himself away from the clutches of Soulbound. As he delved deeper into the game, Adam noticed subtle changes in his behavior. His once bright eyes became vacant, his laughter replaced by an unnerving silence. He became consumed by an insatiable hunger for more gameplay neglecting his personal life and obligations. One fateful night, as Adam played Soulbound into the early hours, the game took a sinister turn. The virtual world distorted, its vibrant colors morphing into twisted nightmare. The characters within the game, once mere pixels, gained a malevolent sentience, their digital faces contorting into grotesque visages. Adam's heart raced as he tried to escape the nightmarish realm, but the game held him captive. The possessed characters taunted him, their voices a chorus of madness and despair. Their eyes bore into his soul, their intentions malicious and cruel. In a desperate bid for survival, Adam frantically sought a way to break free from the clutches of the possessed game. He scoured the internet, researching ancient rituals and arcane methods to banish the evil that had taken hold. Armed with newfound knowledge, he prepared to confront the malevolent force head-on. As the clock struck midnight, Adam performed the ritual, his trembling hands clutching ancient artifacts the room filled with an otherworldly energy, the air crackling with a tangible darkness. The possessed characters within the game recoiled, their shrieks of torment piercing the silence. Suddenly, a blinding light enveloped Adam, and a surge of pure energy coursed through his veins. With a primal roar, he shattered the digital chains that bound him to the cursed game. Soulbound's power over him was broken, and the malevolent force was expelled. The room fell silent as Adam slowly regained his composure. The game console sat lifeless, the screen displaying only a message, Game Over. Adam, free from the clutches of Soulbound, knew that he had triumphed over an ancient evil. 
In the aftermath of the harrowing ordeal, Adam vowed to warn others of the dangers that lurked within the Soulbound. He spread the word, cautioning fellow gamers to resist its seductive call and exposing the malevolent nature of the possessed video game. Years later, as Adam stood before a crowd of gamers, sharing his chilling tale of the possessed video game, he emphasized the importance of vigilance and discernment when it came to choosing their gaming experiences. He urged them to listen to their instincts and to never underestimate the power of the digital world. The story of Soulbound became a cautionary tale whispered among gaming circles and online forums. The hunted game's notoriety grew, serving as a chilling reminder of the darkness that could lurk beneath the surface of even the most innocent-seeming entertainment. As for Adam, the experience had forever changed him. He became an advocate for responsible gaming and a voice of warning against the dangers of unchecked obsession. He founded an organization dedicated to raising awareness about the potential risks of immersive gaming experiences and providing resources for those who had fallen victim to their allure. But deep within his heart, Adam knew that the battle against the malevolent force within Soulbound was not yet over. The game still existed, its possessed code lying dormant, waiting for another unwitting player to stumble upon its dark secrets. Adam's mission continued as he tirelessly sought a way to permanently eradicate the evil that plagued him and others. In the years that followed, Adam's organization made strides in the fight against dangerous gaming experiences. They collaborated with game developers, promoting ethical and immersive gameplay while emphasizing the importance of player safety. Their efforts helped raise awareness within the gaming industry, leading to stricter regulations and enhanced security measures. As for Soulbound, the cursed game that had hunted Adam's life, it was sealed away, locked deep within a vault of forbidden artifacts. The knowledge of its existence was kept under strict control guarded by those who understood the danger it posed. But whispers persisted, rumors of its resurrection, of its insidious influence spreading once again. Adam knew that his battle was far, far over. He remained vigilant, ready to confront the malevolent force if it ever dared to rear its dark head again. And so, The legend of Soulbound, the possessed video game, echoed through the gaming community, reminding players of the cautionary tale that lay hidden within its code. It served as a chilling reminder that not all adventures should be embarked upon, and that in the realm of gaming, one must tread carefully. For the digital world can be a window to both wonder and wickedness.